is exciting. Okay, copy, thanks, Iris. No, we would, okay, I've got her now. We were looking at a monitor lizard. There's a leopard right there. Yeah, Yuri, if you come forward, um, just to the other side of that bush that you're behind, you might get a view. It looks like she's about to jump on a terrapin or something. Can you see her there? There's the leopard. Isn't that special? That's why we came down here. We hoped that maybe the leopard would be here. Let's just try, oh look, she's gonna jump for something. I think she's going to try and catch a terrapin or a fisher terrapin is like a turtle. We know this leopard. Her name is Shongile. Oh, except now <laughs> we are getting conflicting reports from the final control saying no, they think that that is not Shungile. I think that they are right. I think that might be Shungile's brother, Hosanna, so a young male leopard. Wonderful. In fact, it is almost certainly. Yes, look. Is it? Isn't that special, everybody? That is a very beautiful little cat. And he is now just over a year old. And you know why he looks a little bit sad? They can't find his mum at the moment. But he's okay, he will survive, even if his mum isn't around. Let's go a little bit forward, and I'll tell you why we need to go a little bit forward. It's definitely the little male. I just thought it was the female straight away, simply because we often see her here, and not often the male. I'm just going to go a little bit forward to see if we can't have a look here. There, there, there. That's a nice picture. Can you see him there? There we go. Now, text looks like... Um, Yuri, are you sure it's a female and not Hosanna? I think this is the little male, yes. Now, the reason I moved, I know this isn't the best view, but if he does actually decide to jump for something, at least we'll be able to see now. So I was telling you the story of this young male. He and his sister, their mum disappeared about a month ago, but that's okay. They're old enough to look after themselves, but we don't know what's happened to their mum. And so, oh, look, oh, something's jumped in the water. I'm just going to go back again. I wonder if that wasn't his sister, maybe. Or maybe a kingfisher, a bird trying to look for a fish. Just go back, I think, to where we originally were. While we answer Brendan's question, Brendan wants to know how. Uh, there, let's. Yeah, mm, I think this might be the best. Let's stop here. You want to know how fast they can run? Brendan, they are very fast indeed. They can run probably about, I'd say about 40 miles an hour, so they're very quick. Now he's patiently waiting there to see what will come down to the water, or what will come out of the water. We're so lucky to see this beautiful animal here. We don't see them all the time, and these two he and his sister, Hosanna and Shongile, they are two of our favorite, favorite animals because, you know, we've watched them from the day they were born. They were born in February, on the 2nd of February, and Brent, who you haven't met today, he found them on the day they were born. And so we get to, we've watched them since they were tiny, tiny little babies. 
And Ellie, you want to know the difference between a cheetah and a leopard? Well, Ellie, a cheetah looks a little bit the same. They've got spots just like that on their faces. But when you see Hosanna and his whole body, you'll see that the spots change from the face and onto the body and they start to form patterns that we call rosettes. So they're just sort of little round patterns of black spots that are almost sort of gold in the middle. Cheetah doesn't have that. Cheetah's got just spots like that leopard's got all over its body. So that's one difference. The other big difference is that a cheetah is built very slightly. Now that means that they don't have big muscles like a leopard's got. They've got long muscles that allow them to stretch out when they're running at 60 to 65 miles an hour. That's how fast a cheetah is, so much faster than a leopard. But they don't have the same power, they're not as strong. And so they don't look stocky, they don't look like they're built very strongly. And if you imagine a greyhound, do you know what a greyhound is or a whippet? Maybe your teacher will show you a picture. That's a kind of a dog. And they're built very slightly, but they're the fastest dogs in the world, versus something like a bull terrier, of course, which is very, very strong, but it's not very fast. And that's the kind of difference, except a leopard is very fast, but it's not nearly as fast as a cheetah. So a leopard's got lots more muscles, and a cheetah is much slighter and a little bit taller. And that means that they move at different times of the day. The leopard moves in the middle of the day, at least in the middle of the night, and the cheetah moves in the day. Now, Lanesville, you're wondering about why they're covered in black spots. Well, they're covered in black spots, Lanesville, for the simple reason that it makes them difficult to see. Now, I know that it doesn't look very difficult to see to your eyes out here and in the middle of the day, but remember, they normally hunt around night time, and those spots are difficult for an animal that doesn't see as well as us to pick up. Now, many of the animals out here, although they can see well, they don't see color. Now, you see that. Look at that picture. That's almost impossible to see that leopard in there, isn't it? It's almost completely impossible. And that's half because he's got those spots. Now, if you were not able to see in color, remember, we can see hundreds of different colors. Hundreds of different little colors, and animals out here cannot see those colors. And so, even though that leopard looks obvious to us, it's not the same for most animals. All right, everyone, we're going to hand you over to Jamie for the last few minutes of your very special safari. She's got something that this little leopard, but especially that hardy dar ibis, would love to eat. <laughs> 